What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a three-lay parlay for Saturday, March 4th, or not March 4th, May 4th, 2024. Here at PayTalks, drop the most repeat videos out of anyway. Also, click that subscribe button, drop a like. It helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, picks like the most, picks that I bang myself personally, go to PayTalks.com. Click the premium picks section. I'll click the link in the description of this video. You will find all my plays there. All righty, man. We got a loaded Saturday slate of sports, man. We got a nice NBA playoff game between the Nuggets versus the Timberwolves, a full MLB game, the Kentucky Derby. There's a solid UFC card on too. So, if you're a sports fan, man, it's it's time it's time to lock in. It's time to lock in and let's make some goddamn money. So let's cover this uh, NBA game first. Nuggets versus Timberwolves. You know, I will say I'm gonna take the Nuggets on the money line because you know you guys know how I roll. <laughs> I'm taking the money, Nuggets on the money line, but I will say this is gonna be a tough series for the Nuggets. I think this goes to seven. I just think this Timberwolves team does match up for uh, well for them against the Nuggets. You know, they have Gobert and Towns in the paint to, you know, kind of kind of contain Joker a little bit. Um, and then, you know, on offense, Anthony Edwards just absolutely took off last series. I can see him taking off again. I think, like, him and a Jamal Murray will, will equal out there. So, I think this is going to be a very tight, close series. But just the way the Nuggets have been playing at home, defending champs, I'll, I'll take him in game one here. I'll take him in game one. I can see this being the type of series is whoever's home wins. And then, you know, the Nuggets win in seven because they have home court advantage. Uh, it's going to be a really fun series, though. I'm actually really excited for this one. Um, so give me the Nuggets on the money line. I did, do think it's a good match for the Timberwolves. But I'm taking the Nuggets on the money line. Next, um, we're going to stick with this game. Who I am taking on the Timberwolves, though. We're going J.D. McDaniels to hit a three. We did this last series against the Suns. Um, one of the picks... DraftKings sets his lineup at 0.5. I have the stats right here. I don't know why it's not pulled up. They set it up at 0.5. Um, it's a little bit juiced up, but he he bangs threes, guys. He's one of those guys who he's not going to contribute too much to the offense, but you know he's hitting a three at a 70% clip this season. Um, he gets he gets enough minutes. He's averaging you know that 31.7 minutes per game. Let's see how many three point attempts he's averaging per game. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, yeah, I mean, he's averaging 3.13 three-point uh, three attempts per game. Last game, he had four. Um, two games before that, he had four. So, look, man, if Jamie Dance can hit 30% from the three, 25% with him shooting four a game, he should hit a three. So, I'll take that all day. If, if the sportsbook continue to give me Jamie McDaniel to hit a three, we're going to take it. Last but not least, I want to do a year. I'm going to stop adding Nerfies and Nerfies into the parlay videos because I feel like that's just a cop-out. I have a whole video series um about that so last but not least let's go to the ufc um we got a ufc ufc 301 like, this is a pay-per-view card i don't think it should be a pay-per-view card any ufc fans out there i mean i don't think anyone's gonna buy this shit um you know we got pan pantoja and uh Ur 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 i don't even know where the steven urseg guy came came from but he's fighting fighting for the flyweight belt but we're looking at the co-main of it we got jose Aldo versus jonathan martinez and unfortunately, I am going to have to fade Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo, you know, he was a, he's a legend. He's one of the greatest uh, bantamweights, or actually featherweights of all time. He's fine at bantamweight now, but most of his career was spent at featherweight. But John, John Martinez is a young lion. He has been in the UFC for a while. He's fought some good guys. Uh, I think he's just going to have a, he's just going to be a, a, a step quicker than Jose Aldo. You know, Jose Aldo is a guy who likes to stay still, keep his hands up. I think John Martin Martinez is just a little bit more dynamic, and I think he beats old Jose Aldo. So that's going to do it, man. Let's recap, recap this parlay. For the first leg, looking at this matchup between the Nuggets versus the Timberwolves, give me the Nuggets on the money line. For the second leg, give me Jannie McDaniels over, or over half a three. And then going to UFC 301 for the last leg, Jonathan Martinez versus Jose Aldo. Give me Jonathan Martinez on the money line. That's going to do it, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you want to follow uh, my handicap career more closely, you can follow me on Instagram at Brad Wins Bets. I post all my wins and losses there, my PayTalks content, other free picks. It all funnels back into there, but most importantly, subscribe to PayTalks on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.